I always feel like if you're in your gut, you know something's wrong with your body, something's wrong. We know our own bodies more than anyone else does. I was diagnosed with sun oval sarcoma officially in August 2021, but I've had a lump on my leg since 2016. What started off as just a tiny, tiny little lump above my knee that didn't hurt, didn't really do anything. I did get it checked out, however, it told me it was probably a bit of inflammation and to go home, have ibuprofen. And then over the years, back and forth from hospitals, doctors, and then after a lot of attempts of trying to be seen too sooner, being on waiting lists for operations and, and MRIs and ultrasounds and all of the above, I got sick of it. And so I went, I went private after all these years, after everything that's happened, it, it turned out to be cancer an 18 centimetre tumour in my leg. It turns out that I also had quite a large tumour in my chest. The cancer is so aggressive that I was rushed into chemo shortly after and um, I didn't really have much time to absorb what I'd been told and already I'm having chemotherapy done. I don't know what's worse, the chemo or the cancer sometimes. Some surgeon eventually came out and said that they could operate on my lungs and my chest and that they would be able to remove everything that they can see. And then with that meaning that they will also be operating on my leg and there's so much cancer, the only way of survival and making sure that all the tumour is removed is amputating my leg. It's a scary thing, I I'm, I'm petrified. I'm absolutely petrified, but I know what I have to do. My mum and sister have been incredible with me and the situation. It doesn't just affect the individual, it affects everyone else's life that's around you. I set up an Instagram account and I documented as much as I could. And I wanted to show people to, to know what sun oval sarcoma is. If it's something that's so aggressive and, and so nasty, then I feel like it should be spoken about just as much as cervical cancer or breast cancer. I just want to make people aware that if you think something's wrong, get it, get it seen to, get it checked out, persist. I've really mourned the loss of my leg. I believe I can style out a prosthetic leg. I reckon I can make it work. There's so much that lies ahead for recovery and to try and give myself a longer life expectancy. And I choose life.